yoga block here, but you can use a cushion or a blanket. And it's mainly for you to be comfortable, but also so that you can lift your hips and help you to open out. Knees coming down towards the floor. But at any time, if you are not comfortable, just move. That's the most important thing. And then when you're ready, we're going to close the eyes. Relax the shoulders down. Sit with the palms facing to the sky to start. And let's allow ourselves a moment to tune into the breath and notice how your body feels today. Notice the sitting bones pressing into the block or the mat or the cushion that you are using. And as you breathe in, imagine a string is pulling you up tall through the top of the head. With each exhale, let your shoulders melt down away from the ears as you start to find a little bit of peace and start to feel calm and relaxed, ready for your practice today. Know that this is your space and your time to connect with baby. So we're going to start by taking one or two hands to baby if it feels comfortable. Notice any movements in the body. You might be able to feel baby kicking. You might be able to feel your chest and tummy rising and falling with each breath. Just acknowledge it now. As you draw your awareness into your baby, as you notice the movement of the breath, start now to inhale through the nose and with each exhale let the breath leave the body smoothly and gently as you let go of any tiredness or tension. By the end of this practice, you're going to feel relaxed and energised and calm. Visualise baby and visualise the two of you sitting in your space together. Visualise the breath moving into your body and travelling down to baby. And know that with each breath you are building your connection. And with each exhale, you are actively choosing to let go of whatever you and baby do not need. Set an intention for the class now, whether that is to connect with baby, or maybe you want to practice breathing ready for labour, or maybe there's a particular body part that needs a little bit of care. Set an intention now, and as you move through our practice together, Keep drawing your mind back to whatever your intention is and back to your beautiful baby. We're going to start with some breaths together, taking one hand now above the heart, keeping one hand on baby, let's inhale and breathe through the nose, lengthen through the spine to the top of the head and as you exhale out of the mouth, start to release and let go of any worries or stress. Inhale, heart lifts to the sky, directing all that air down to baby. And as you exhale, start to relax. Breathe in, stretching through the sides of the body. Breathe out and release. Keeping your mind focused on your intention now as you inhale. Exhale to let go. Let's do one more round. Breathe in, heart rising. And then exhale and let go. Draw your mind back to baby as you gently blink the eyes open. Take the hands down and just do some nice big shrugs with the shoulders. Let's start with side stretches. Inhale, taking the left hand up and over. As you exhale, drawing back through centre. We're flowing in time with your breath. So if you feel comfortable to just close
close your eyes as we flow through these pauses. As you breathe in, you are rising up and over. And as you breathe out, you are releasing, grounding down into the air. Staying in tune with baby in the breath. Let's exhale, let go. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to release. Breathing in and out. We're going to do two more on each side. So don't feel pressured to rush these pauses. If you are breathing long, smooth breaths, it should be long, smooth motions. Let's inhale, rise together. Exhale to release, last one, all the way up and over. Breathe in and then out. Same now, but with two hands. As you breathe in, stretch to the sky. Tilt the head up and as you breathe out, press the palms together. Drawing them back down to the heart and back to baby, scooping the arms now up and over. Inhale, head tilts to the sky. Exhale, palms press together, drawing down past the third eye, down past the heart, down to baby. Let's go again. Inhale, head tilts up and over. Exhale, palms draw down. We're going to do two more rounds, keeping your breath nice and long. Inhale through the nose as you stretch through to the fingertips. Exhale, palms pressed together, coming all the way back down to the heart and back to baby. Welcome everyone. Taking the hands to the thighs, spine straight, shoulders relaxed down. Tilt the head over to one side. Soften the face. Check that you're not holding any tension in the jaw or the eyebrows. Have a gap between the teeth. And then nice and gently come back through centre to the opposite side. Let's do one more either side. And just take a moment to notice which side feels tighter compared to the other. And then come back through to neutral. Interlace your fingers. Press them away from the body. Tuck the chin to the chest and pull baby in. So you're pressing into that space between the shoulder blades. From here, lengthen through the spine, flip the palms and press up to the sky. Arms are up next to the ears, keeping the knees drawing down as you exhale, gently bend one way. Come back through centre, inhale and bend the opposite way. All the way back up, inhale and then release. Taking the fingertips behind the body now. Press the fingertips into the floor, roll the chest up, shoulder blades draw together. Take a breath as you draw your mind back to baby, back to your body, and then nice and gently walking the fingers back to centre, moving the block to the side or the cushion so that your bum is pressed into the mat or the floor wherever you are. Change the part of your legs if you want to, we're going to move in a circle. So just sweeping as low as feels comfortable with baby. And just taking this time to notice how you feel in the sides and the lower back. Going the opposite way as well. Head, neck and shoulders are nice and flowy and relaxed. And then coming back through into our seated cat cow, feet wide, sitting bones press into the floor, hands to the shins, as you breathe in, heart rises up, shoulders release and as you breathe out, pull baby in as you tuck the chin to the chest, two more rounds, inhale, heart rises, remember you can take your feet wide if baby needs more room, exhale, chin drops down, let's do one more round, breathe in, Lengthening right through to the top of the head and breathe out, chin drop to the chest. Coming all the way back through now. Shoulders release. We're going to take the legs out, flexing the toes so they come back towards the shin. The back is completely straight, shoulders are released. Take one hand to the ground at the side, stretch the opposite hand up and over. Chest is lifted to the sky. 
heart is open, fingertips are active as you stretch over and then come back through, opposite side. Keeping your mind on baby and on the breath. And then release, gently bringing the base of the feet together now. Hands clasp around the feet, heart lifts and shoulders relax down. Take those knees up and down gently. Well done. Softening the face again, making sure that the spine doesn't start to arch. Heart lifts, face is soft. Noticing that stretch in the hips and the inner thighs. And then nice and gently release. Guide your knees in. We're going to come onto a table position now. So move in whichever way feels comfortable for you. This yoga practice isn't about being as flexible and getting into the most dramatic shapes. It's about you connecting with your baby and making your body feel better as it goes through all the changes in pregnancy. So from this table position now, just gently sway your hips side to side as if you've got a big bushy tail. And you can only go one way and then the other. Notice how you feel in the hips and the lower back. And just breathe nice and gently. We're going to do some gentle cat cows here. So as you breathe in, heart rises. Reaching towards the front of the mat. As you breathe out, pull baby up and in. As you tuck your chin to the chest and press the floor away with the hands. We're going to do two more rounds. Inhale. Looking to the top of the mat. Exhale, pressing the floor away, pull baby in. Last one, inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, pressing the floor away. From here, come back through to neutral with the spine. We're going to walk the hands towards the top of the mat, keeping the elbows soft. We're keeping looking ahead, we're just going to start to gently send the bum back. You might need to take the knees wider. But the chest is reaching towards the front of the mat and go to wherever feels comfortable. Keeping that gaze ahead. And breathe. And then nice and gently, walking the hands back, coming through to that table position. We're going to take the left leg out, press the toes into the mat and lift the leg. From here we're just going to start to do some circles, moving from the hip, go one way and then the other. And then extending that left leg out. Take a breath here and as you exhale, pull the knee through. Think of that cat position, we're going to press the floor away. Taking the knee to wherever feels comfortable and then as you inhale, kick it out through the heel. Exhale, knee comes through, pull baby up and in. Last round, inhale, stretch. Heart reaches to the front of the mat. As you exhale, pressing the floor away, knee comes through, switch side. Right toes press into the mat now. Lengthen in as you keep baby drawn in and as you breathe out, now we're going to start to do some circles, just work into the hip a little bit to start off with. And then extending out, inhale here as you exhale, press the floor away, tuck the chin under, knee comes through, two more, inhale stretch, exhale knee comes through, last one, breathe in and then breathe out, dropping the knee, tucking the toes under and we're going to walk the hands back, heels press to the floor and uncurl the spine as slowly as you can. So really exaggerate the heart rising up and the shoulders rolling back and release. From here, interlace your fingers, press the hands away from the body as you pull baby in and tuck the chin to the chest. And then neutralise the spine, lengthening, flip the palms and press up. Arms up next to the ears, inhale here as you exhale, gently bend one way and then back to centre. On an exhale, bend the opposite way and then release. Inhale, press the sky and then drawing the hands all the way down. Step the right foot forward now into warrior two. 
Left foot is parallel with the back of the mat. So if you saw on Instagram, of course I've got on about one year, so it's exactly the same if you're pregnant, but you're just bringing your stance in slightly narrower so that you're not wobbly. Front knees above that ankle. Check you can see the front big toe and baby stays hooked in. Arms stretch out wide, we want to feel really strong. Let's take a glance over the back hand. And as you follow the arm down towards the chest and over the front arm, they should be at an equal height. Take a breath here. Feeling strong and powerful as you draw your mind back to baby. Let's inhale and rise together. Exhale, sink low, bending that front knee, looking over the front hand. Two more rounds, inhale. Exhale, lower. Let's do one more. Breathe in and out, looking over the front hand. Flip the palm, back hand to the base of the back, tilt to the sky. From here, bringing that front elbow to the inner thigh, hand to baby, top arm can stay on the hip or stretch it up and over. Take a breath. And then coming all the way back through. We're going to do triangle pose, trick and ask. And so straight in the front leg, but don't lock it. Front fingers reach towards the front of the mat. And then windmill that bottom hand down. Top hand reaches towards the sky. And gently looking towards that top hand. If you wobbly, keep the gaze to the floor. Take a breath. And then with control, let's rise together. Turning the toes. So that they're facing out to the corners, heels turn in, hands to the hips and let's bend the knees. Gently sway side to side as you sink into the hips. Try to make sure that you're not leaning forward, so imagine the strings pulling you up tall through the top of the head. Well done, relaxing those shoulders down. Let's flow with the arms now, inhale, both arms reach high. As you exhale, bending the knees as you press the palms together, back to the heart and back to baby. Two more. Breathe in and out. Sinking low, feeling strong. Inhale, rise. Exhale, let's lower down. Taking both hands to the inner thighs now, dropping one shoulder low. As you inhale, rise up. Opposite shoulder drops. So feet are pressed into the mat. Go as low as feels comfortable for you and your body. Exhale, shoulder drops. Hands pressed to the inner thighs. Inhale to rise. Don't feel rushed. Move with your breath. Stay focused on your baby. Let's do one last one. And then come through. From here, pressing the feet into the mat. Hands come to the hips as you walk the feet in. Bringing them to the slightly wider hip with the part. Hands come to the hips and take them round nice and gently. Check that your knees are bent and that your big toes aren't lifting up off the mat. Go one way and then the other. Well done. And then release. From here, interlace the fingers, press the hands away from the body. Tuck the chin to the chest as you pull baby in and press into that space between the shoulder blades. And then lengthening through the spine. Flip the palms and press up on an inhale. Arms up next to the ears, gently bend one way. Inhale to centre. Make sure that your feet are both pressed into the mat equally. Bend the opposite way. Well done, everyone. Inhale, press up. Exhale, release. From here now, let's do our sun salutations. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, hands press to the heart. Inhale, reach through the ring fingers. And as you exhale, forward fold. Take your feet wide if you need to create space for baby. Hands press to the shins, half lift. Exhale, lower. Rise up on an in breath. Exhale, hands come back to the heart. Two more rounds. Flow with your breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach through the ring fingers. Exhale to fold. Hands to the shins. Half lift. 
and lower. Rise up on an in-breath and then hands come back to the heart, last one. Inhale, stretch up and over, head tilt to the sky. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, reach your those ring fingers. Exhale, knees are soft as you forward fold. Hands to the shins, half lift. Exhale, lower. Grounding down to the feet as you inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's turn the toes out, heels turn in. As you breathe in, stretch both hands to the sky. As you breathe out, pressing the palms together, this time coming nice and long into Malasana. So make sure you feel steady first. You might bring the tiptoes around the flats of the feet. If your elbows are in the inner thighs, press the palms together and just open those gently. Take a breath. Relax the shoulders. Draw your mind back to baby. Let's take one hand low, one hand high. And then switch. Well done everyone. Walking your hands forward now into a table position. And back to that big bushy tail as you wag it side to side. Noting how your lower back feels and the hips. We're going to extend the right foot out. Inhale here as you exhale. This time we're going to step the foot to the top of the mat. And come into a low lunge. So this is the point where you might need your block or cushion. To put underneath the knee. Hands are going to stay on the hips and we're going to inhale and straighten that front knee out. As you exhale, sink low, checking that the front knee doesn't go any further than past the ankle. It's staying on top of that front ankle. So inhale, legs straightened. Exhale, moving with control. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, sink low, well done. As you breathe in now, reach both hands up and over to the sky, tilt the head. As you exhale, press the palms together, back to the heart, coming back towards baby, well done. Inhale, both hands rise up. As you exhale, bring the hands either side of the front foot and then step it back. So you're back through to that table position. We're going to do it all on the opposite side now. So left leg extends out, inhale, as you exhale, knee comes through, taking the hand, foot between the hands into a low lunge, left foot forward. Now, padding the knee if you need to, hands come to the hips, let inhale, straighten the legs together, moving with control as you exhale and lower, breathe in and out. Keep drawing your mind back to your intention. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Hold in here as you breathe in. Stretch both hands up and over. As you exhale, pressing the hands together back to the heart, back to baby. Inhale, reach up through the ring fingers. As you exhale, bringing the hands either side of the front foot. Stepping back into that table position. From here, either a half dog. Forearms to the mat and bum sinks back. Or full downward dog, which you are safe to do right up to giving birth. It's good for getting baby in the right position. Base of the index finger and thumb press into the mat. Knees lift as you send your bum and hips back. Gaze to that space between the ankles and let's pedal the legs. If you feel confident too, if you've done a lot of yoga in the past, you're welcome to lift one leg and maybe have a little experiment. Working into the hip like we did at the beginning when our knee was dropped. Doing one side and then the other. If you need to drop your knees at any point, you're welcome to. And then release. We're all going to move to child's pose. So knees go wide on the mat, feet together. Head can either come to the floor or if baby's bigger now. Taking the elbows to the mat and head comes on top of the palms and just release. Allow yourself a moment to tune back into the breath as you check back in with baby, sinking into those hips. So it might feel nice to gently sway the bum one way and then the other. Draw your mind back to your focus and back to the breath. Feeling happy and relaxed 
and energize with each inhale. Let's move together now. Hands come through to a table position. We're going to do an alternative cat cow again. So from here, I want you to imagine that you are coming down towards one hand as you scoop your body low, and as you come up, cat pose, you pull baby in and arch the shoulders, press the floor away. So you're moving in a circle, going up, and then swooping down to one hand, pressing the floor away. You might need to take your knees wider to make space for baby. Go around one way and then the other, just being nice and flowy. Moving with your breath. And then from here, find stillness. Toes tucked under at the back of the mat. Hands walk back. Heels press to the floor. Really slowly, inhaling that spine. Heart lifts up. Shoulders roll back. And breathe. Well done. This time, left foot forward as we move into warrior two. Right foot parallel to the back of the mat. So you may find that you can go really wide. I actually found that my balance was better at the end of my pregnancy than it is now <laughs> because I think I'd grown gradually. So make the most of it. <laughs> Making sure that front knee is above the ankle, that foot's parallel to the back of the mat. And you don't want your weight to be coming on the inside of the foot, you're pressing to that back edge of the back foot. Baby is drawn in and we're going to stretch the arms out wide, feeling really strong. Have a quick glance back, check that your arms are in a straight line. Let's inhale together, rise up. Exhale, bending that front knee, landing in warrior two. Well done, two more. Inhale, exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, let's rise. Exhale, and lower. Flipping the front palm, back hand to the base of the back for support. Gently tilt, and then coming through. Elbow to the inner thigh, hand to baby, top hand to the hip, or stretch it up and over, heart lifts to the sky. And then come through. Back into warrior two, straighten the front leg. Not locking it as you reach the front fingers forward into Trikonasana. Left hand down, right hand to the sky. Gazing either at the ground or see if you can go up to that top hand if you're not too wobbly. Take a breath. And then come back through. Well done everyone. From here, turn your toes so they're all facing the same way. And behind your back we're going to clasp the fingers together. So fingers are interlaced but behind the back. Heart lifts up. Hand draws down, take a breath, and then we're going to forward fold from the hips. Just go to wherever feels comfortable for you. You may be able to sit your head nice and low, and then lift your hands up from the lower back. Really nice in your shoulders, this. Just go to wherever feels good for you and baby. And then let's move together with control. Release the hands from the back of the back, bring them both to baby. And then as you inhale, rise up as you hold, baby. Well done. Roll the shoulders and release. Turning the heels in, toes turn out and bending the knees. Breathe in, take one hand up, lift the heel if you can. And then switch sides. So bend the knees, sink low and then inhale, let's rise. Exhale, sink low. We're going to do two more on each side. Again, don't feel pressure to go deep. Don't feel pressure to do the arm or lift the heel. It's whatever's best for you and your baby and your body. Last one. Up and over on this side. And then inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Well done, everyone. Bringing those hands to the hips now. Straighten the legs. Walk the feet in. Knees soft and into those hip circles again. Going round one way and then the opposite way. And then find stillness. Interlace the fingers, press the hands away from the body. Pull baby in as you tuck the chin to the chest and get into that space between the shoulder blades. And then come back through to neutral, flipping the palms. Hands stretch up. Inhale as you press the sky. Exhale, gently bend. 
Good, inhale through centre and then bend again. Well done everyone, press the sky and then release those hands down into our sun salutation. Inhale, arms stretch up. Exhale, hands press to the heart. Inhale, reach through the ring fingers. As you exhale, forward fold, knees are soft. Hands press to the shins, half lift. Exhale, lower, rise up on an in breath. Hands draw back to the heart. Two more rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping your mind on your baby as you breathe in. Direct all that air down into the tummy as you exhale. Let go of any tension. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, release. Rise up on an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Last round. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, reach through those ring fingers. Well done everyone, exhale, forward, forward. Hands press to the shins. Inhale, exhale, rise up, breathe in. Hands come back to the heart. Turning the toes out, heels in. Stretch both arms up to the sky. Press the palms together as you sink below into Malasana. Find your balance first, maybe sway one way and then the other. The option to press the palms together, elbows press into those inner thighs and breathe. One hand low, one hand high now. And then switch. Breathe in. And then again, walking the hands forward back into our table position. Back to that big bushy tail, sway it side to side. Checking in with your hips and your lower back again. And drawing your mind back to your baby and back to your breath. From here, we're going to keep the right foot out to the side so that it's perpendicular to the mat. The same hand that you just keep the leg out is going to move to the top of the mat. So, right foot kicks out, right hand to the top of the mat, and you're going to roll your chest open to the sky. Hand can stay on baby as your left toes point to the bottom corner of the mat or if you feel comfortable too opening that left arm up to the sky and breathe well done, that's a tricky one it's harder knowing you're laughing your right, I know <laughs> and then come back through, we're going to switch sides so come back to the table first of all hips go side to side and breathe. So we're going to do that all on the opposite side now. So this time left foot kicks out to the side. Left hand goes to the top of the mat. So same leg that's kicked out, the hand goes to the top of the mat. Roll the chest to the sky. Right toes point towards the bottom corner. Hand can stay to baby or stretch that top arm. Up and over the chest lifts to the sky. Feel nice and strong. Feel balanced. And then slowly come back through to a table position. Now into your half dog. Hips press back with the forearms on the mat. Or full downward dog. Hips go high. And breathe. Lengthening through the spine as you press the floor away with the hands. Really deep in one leg and then the other. Whatever position you are in, your spine should be long and the face relaxed. Let's all meet in child's pose, knees wide, feet together, forehead to the mat or taking the elbows to the mat, head on top of the palms and breathe. Draw your mind back to baby and back to your breath. Letting go of any tension and worries and tiredness. Know that you and baby are on this journey together. That you already know baby and that this is your space and time. And at the end of this journey you get to meet your beautiful baby. Nice and slowly pressing the hands into the mat. Move into a comfortable seated position. However feels best for you. Again, if you can, in that UFO position, so upward, forward and open, that's going to help baby to be in the right position for coming out when you give birth. 
And then either sitting with the palms facing up or one or two hands to baby or maybe one hand on the heart, whatever feels like it resonates best with you. And then close the eyes and relax the shoulders down. Drawing your mind back to whatever your focus is for this class. Drawing your mind back to your beautiful baby, feeling strong and energised and positive now. Inhale through the nose and as you do that, imagine the string is pulling you up tall through the top of the head. As you exhale out of the mouth, imagine a golden thread that is leaving the body and carrying away whatever you and baby do not need. As you inhale, feel the chest rise. And then feel the tummy rise as you direct all that air and goodness to baby. And then exhale. And release. Breathe in. Breathe out and let go. Inhale. Filling up the whole upper body. Exhale, visualising that thread carrying away any tiredness or tension as you breathe out of the mouth. Let's do two more rounds together. Exhale, let the breath leave the body. Let it be as smooth and deep as possible. Last round, inhale. Exhale to release. Take a moment now to draw your mind back to baby, noticing any movement in the body, noticing the chest and tummy rise and fall with the breath, soften the face, relax the neck and the jaw, draw your mind back to your intention now. If you'd like to move into Shavasana, and relax for a little bit, moving on to your left hand side now and putting a bolster or a cushion or something between your thighs. If you'd like to finish your practice with me now, we're going to release the hands down and just start to rub the palms together. When the hands are warm, just cupping them over the face and then massaging the cheeks, the forehead, the temples, Throwing the hair back and releasing and then massage the neck and the shoulders. Feeling happy and energised with each breath. Nice and slowly now let's put the hands over the eyes, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale and let go. Start to blink your eyes open, make some gaps between the fingers, maybe do some circles with the wrists. Well done everyone. Rolling the shoulders back, keeping whatever your intention is on your mind now. As you inhale, stretch both hands to the sky. As you exhale, press the palms together back to the heart and back towards baby. Namaste. Thank you.